calling, baby. Okay. Hey, YouTube. Shaver 1000 here. What we're going to do today, got a couple Coca-Cola cans here. Might come in handy for you guys down here in Florida. Let's go and go through this crap with us. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make an alcohol stove. Down and dirty, quick and easy, but it will work. So the first thing we're going to do is I got a two before here. You see it? A two before here. I got that wrapped in foil because I had a pan on there trying this out earlier. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as a guide. And I got, I've got a needle here. See the needle? Uh, what you can use is a push pin, you know, like you, you know, put papers on a bulletin board with. You can use that or a tack or small nail. I don't have a push pin, so uh, we got this needle. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is two before, so it's actually about an inch and three quarters. So I'm going to put, can you see this, hon? Mm-hmm. You sure? Might want to stand there. Now let me move this foil back here. We'll do it like this so they can see. I'm going to put this pin here, and I'm going to put right up against this can. All right? And I'm going to hold the pin up against the can, and I'm going to score that can all the way across there. Is that picking it up? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go all the way around. You can use a marker if you want, but we couldn't find a marker either, so... Now, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yep. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. That score line. Do that on both these. This is for people, because I understand people's got grills and stuff like that, but if it's storming out and it's windy, and try not to dent the can like I just did. If it's windy out and storming and raining, well, you're not really going to be able to build a fire. You know, you might be able to cook out with your grill in the uh, in your garage or something like that. But this is for inside the house. Because we've got all electric. We've got electric stove. And uh, just kind of straighten it out there. See another score line. Now on the bottom here, what you're going to do is take a penny. And it's got to be 19, it's got to be older than 1983. So 82 and older will work because the in 83 they started putting more zinc in the pennies. And, these, and the pennies will melt. So you don't want it melting. Because this is going to be like a little valve, okay? So what, we're, what I do is just take you a pencil or something or guess it, whatever. But I'm just going to mark it here. See that? Mm -hmm. Just mark that. That way you got an idea where you got to go with this. Now, there's a million of these YouTube videos on here, but I'm, I'm doing it to try to help people. And you want to poke some holes. Now, what, what I'm doing, because this is a needle, it's hard to hold. I have a pair of vice grips here. I'm just going to use them. And you're going to put one in the center. Like this. Now, the center one, you want to make a little bigger. Like, maybe use a... Ow. Maybe use a fork or something. And then you're going to want to put four more holes in it. So you're going to want to have five all together. One, two, three, and four. Now, now that that's done, like I said, make a, that, that center one a little bigger will help. Now, what you want to do. So I, got, I got a little pencil here, but wherever these four holes are, like right from here to there, try to space them as evenly as you can. If you got time, you ain't got nothing to do, you're bored. I mean, after all, we're, we're going to be in a hurricane. Um, the, the better the spacing, or, you know, the, the closer you get the spacing apart on distance, the better it'll work. Now, I'll poke those. Put those in there, in these four holes, just like this. Okay, now what you're going to want to do, there's four holes. You're going to want 16 all together. So now, in between those four holes, there, there, 
there, and so on. Like I say, the better you space them, the better off you are. Okay. Now we have eight holes. We want 16. So we go in between now, in between every hole. You get 16 holes. Like I said, if you measure them, you can get them pretty much dead on. See, those aren't evenly spaced, but it's okay. It still will work fine. It's just a lot better if you space them evenly. And there you go. That's what you're going to want. 16 holes there around the edge and five in the center there. Okay. Shit, battery's going dead already. All right, I'll try to hurry. Does that have a pause on it? Okay, what we're going to do is now, let me show you this real quick, and then I'll pause you and bring you back. Make a hole. Kind of cut this, this off here. Like that. Now, you want to go down to this line here, and you want to follow that line. Cut that line right around there, just like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut, we're going to pause you for a second and we'll be right back with you. Okay. All right. I'm back. Now what we have here is we have this that we put the holes in. The wet, and we have this one with no holes. Now what I'm going to do is you just take a pair of pliers. I marked it. On here with the pencil, you kind of want it about even. Take a pair of pliers, just kind of go like this all the way around it. It don't have to be perfect or anything. It's going to be covered up, and there's a reason for this. It's because the other part has to go on top of this, so you want it to look like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these cotton balls, just grab a few of them, and put them in there. You don't need a lot. It just, it, I find it gives you at least five more minutes of burn time. Okay, so there you go. Now what you're going to want to do is take the one with the holes in it. And that's why I put the ridges. Can you see that? Not you, the camera. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I put the ridges so this goes on a lot easier. Okay. So you just want to put that right over top of it. If I'd have bent it more, it would have been better. The other one went right on. We made one earlier. Really, baby? Hmm. Shut up. <laughs> Monkey, shut up. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Right, we're in the middle of a hurricane making YouTube videos. All right. Well, the hurricane's not quite here yet. No. It did slow down, but they're expecting to pick back up. There it goes. See? So now it's perfect. Now, put it down flat. Pop it down there. Now, if you want, kind of take that and bend it over. It will help hold it on. And like that. You can roll it if you want. Just so it's not so short for you. Like that. Now, there you go. Like I said, make it hold a little bit bigger in the center. Now what I did was, I, I had another can, and I measured it the same way, and I cut this off. And I cut it off for a reason, middle spell. That way you can know how that's going to be full. You fill this almost up, dump it in there, you know that's going to be almost full. So let's come over here. Can you make it? I will try. Alright. Here we go. Now what we're going to do, we're setting this here, because we're in the house, this is clean burning fuel. Now what we got... That's 50%, won't burn, don't use it. At least 75%, okay, but we got 91%. Because when it comes to alcohol, we like our alcohol. So. Really, babe? That wasn't funny. Why are you smiling? You're so pretty. <laughs> All right. Now, what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to fill this up. up. That way I know when this is almost full, that's going to be almost full. Now, remember, don't go clear up because you got cotton balls in there. That's going to take up some space. Now take this. Can you dump it in there? Can you see, babe? Yep. A little bit slower than that, of course. That takes a little time. Yeah. 
we, sh we should make that hole a little bit bigger, right? Make it hole a little bit bigger. Maybe if you got a skewer or a nail or whatever, but make the center hole just a little bit bigger than the other one. You should know how to do that well. How to do what well? A hole. She went school. Anyway, so now let's keep filling. Now we we did this earlier on the other one. Here's the other one. We tried it out, and what we get? Twenty minutes burn time. Right. Oh yeah. Now, if you're doing this, make sure you got a pan or something, pie pan, cake pan. And if you get some down in here, that's fine, because when you light it, it'll help prime it. And I'll show you that here in a minute, too. Cooking pan. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to do it on your countertop, of course. I don't mean to put on that, because if they do that stupid shit and burn their house down, yeah, I, I really am going to laugh. Cause you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own. So, I mean, I'm not going to give warnings, but I will tell the kids... Kids, do not do this unsupervised. Get your parents' permission. Get them to help you. Because it is very dangerous. We should have a fire extinguisher here, but we don't. Now, let me grab the penny here. Remember, 1982 or older. Now, let me put the penny here. Mm-hmm. Put a couple more drops on there. Cover the holes up. Because that way you want a little pressure to build, but you don't want a lot. So... What that does is actually lift the penny when it has too much pressure so it doesn't overflow shit. So now light it. So that's a dog playing with, with the tool. So now light it. See, like I said down there, that'll help uh, prime that. Now I'm going to shut out the light so you can see what's going on a little better. Oh, no. What? Can't light? see. Oh, you can see the light. in there. Ooh, babe. What? It's burning underneath the bricky thing. Is it? Yeah. Cool. Alright, well. Not really. I'm going to try to move that penny over. Give it some air, maybe. But sometimes they are a little hard to start. What it is, is you got to get the can hot. And that other one lit right up. Yeah, it did. No problem. You've got to get the can hot to turn the fuel that's inside here into a gas. <gasps> yeah. Maybe we can do that. Like that. See, now it's starting to burn. Once that can gets hot, like I said, it turns the fuel into a gas and it'll come out them holes. Holes not picking it? Don't write me know, babe. I mean, I'm sure I put enough in there. Maybe I didn't let the cotton ball saturate enough. Or something. Yeah, use the right one. There it there goes. goes. Just Sometimes it takes longer than other times, but be patient. Keep doing what I just did, and you'll know when it's ready, once them, all the holes will have flames coming out of them. Like that. And that's primed. Now, 13 minutes, we had this pan here. We had this pan here, very thick pan, and I had two cups of water in it. It took 13 minutes to start for a rolling boil. It went out. I don't know why this keeps going out. The other one. It's not priming, huh? Use the other one, see. If... Um. Also, a stuff called heat. You put in cars, dry gas. The yellow in the yellow, it's cheap. That's the best fuel for this. I might not have had enough fuel in there. That'll be the best fuel for this. I 
might have made that center hole too big. But it need, you want it a little bit bigger. I might have went too big on the hole, so I didn't mean to, but it pushed in real quick. There you go. Working now. Yeah. Like I said, the center hole I might have made too big on mine, but you want it a little bit bigger than the other four that's around it. Um, but like I said, if you space them holes better and everything, and also I made these, they, they usually go an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. I made ours a little bigger, uh, but it'll actually be blue perfect like a, uh, like a stove burner. But there you go. Now, hopefully that will help some people that need to, um, you know, prepare for this. It, like I said, it, I mean, it'll work. It works good. You know, here's the other one we've got. I don't know what I did with the thing to it. So we have got. We got quite. Uh, huh? He's into his toy. Yeah. I don't know. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> what did I do with the thing? I don't know. I didn't see you take it off. Is it still on there? On the other side? Hmm. There, lit up. Wonder Check why. Out. All right. And that's clean burning, burning inside. But plus, we've got a vent up here. So, um, but anyway, we have got four hundred thousand. What is it? 490,000 total views on a little over 200 videos. I think it's pretty good. I've been on for, what did I tell you, seven years? Huh? Yes. Oh, so anyway, what we're going to do, when we hit half a million, when we hit 500,000 views, can you see me? Mm -hmm. Half a million views, we're going to have a giveaway. All right? Now, we're just going to give away like a cheap GoPro camera or something. It's fine, honey. A cheap GoPro camera or something like that. But we're going to give you a little camera. And what we're going to do is write this down. Shaybear437 at gmail.com. That's S-H-A-B-E-A-R 437 at gmail.com. Send us um, some information. Uh, where we can send the camera to, whatnot. And what we're going to do is everyone that we get, we're going to put your names uh, and your channel name, by the way, too, or whatever you want us to use on there. Of course, we will not give out any personal information, just your name or your channel name, whatnot. And we're going to put it in a fishbowl. And we're going to have a little shark pull out a name, and that will be the winner. Now, we're not sure when that's going to happen yet, but as soon as we hit 500,000 views, we'll, and we're going to do this on a live feed, too. Um, we'll give you give you like a week in advance. That way you can get your, submit your, your things. Uh, let, let me know who you are. Put um, contest and headline so I know it's you, and um, we're going to give, give something away to you, and we'll get it out to you as soon as we draw the name. But anyway, that's what we're doing. So we're, we're um, having some fun here, kind of. I mean, it's, it's not bad yet. Uh, it's not going to get bad till about tomorrow. So, um, but we're, we're all, we've got everything ready to go. We've got the car in the garage. Uh, we've got the truck in front of the window to kind of help that. Uh, so we've got all the outside furniture put away. So we should be ready to go. We are going to block home. Uh, we've got some good hur hurricane straps up, up in on the, you know, tying the roof to the walls. Uh, 
we should be good to go. I trust this roof, you know, at about maybe 50, 60 mile an hour winds. I mean, not the shingles, of course, but the roof itself. We should be okay. We're just mostly concerned about the trees around here. Now, as long as the trees hold up, the wind, you know, will be blocked by some of these trees. So we won't get real hit real hard with the wind. We're more worried about a tree coming down. If you all seen the video of the tree branch that fell through the roof of the car and it wasn't even storming. That was last Monday. Uh, but anyway, listen guys, we're going to get off here. We're going to upload this for you. Anyone that's down here with us and that's going to stick it out, be safe, man. Uh, we don't want to see anyone hurt. Uh, we're going to ride it out with you. And any, anyone else that watches us anywhere else, uh, you know, pray for us down here. You know, it's going, it's going to get bad. So, but we're in there. We got everything ready to go. We got power, uh, inverters. Uh, we've got batteries to run the inverters, so we're going to have lights. We're going to have a little fan in case it gets stuffy in here. Uh, we've got plenty of food, plenty of water. Um, we're going to have several gallons of water um, with the water that we bought. And we got a water purifier over here. I am filtering water right now as we speak. So we're going to be good to go on, on that part. Um, if I can, as long as the um, internet holds out, like I said, we've got the inverter. If the internet's holding out, I can plug the uh, the modem, the internet, and do maybe some live feed for you. But we're going to keep you guys updated and posted on what we're doing throughout this whole thing, through this all weekend. So uh, we're going to get off here. But there's how there's how you build. You know, you can cook on that. Like I said, uh, last one burnt for 20 minutes. So listen, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, stay safe. Monkey anything? I'm out. <laughs> You're out? Okay. With that being said, we love you guys. Shea Bear 1000, I'm gone.